This is all on you, Commander. You gave the data to Ocelot. God only knows what he's planning to do with it. I regret what happened, Admiral. Regret? Son, you may have just doomed our entire race. If he gives that data to the Covenant... I don't think he would do that, sir. From what you told me about him, it would make no sense for him to defect. Perhaps. But the point still remains, he wanted it for a reason. And he fooled you into giving it to him. I know, sir. I hate myself for that. Channel your hate into something more productive, Commander. Okay to Ocelot and get that data back. That safe retrieval is your number one priority. I still think we should destroy the data completely, sir. It's too dangerous to be left intact. Negative. That data is too valuable to us. Retrieve it safely at all costs. That's an order. Understood? I said, is that understood, Commander? Yes, sir. Good. Our reinforcements are already en route. If you haven't located Ocelot by then, they will give you all the help you need. I understand, sir. Good hunting, Commander. It sounds like I should have stayed in bed. Lugger! What are you doing up? You're supposed to be in the medical bay. I got bored of sleeping. How are you feeling? Much better. The nerves seem to be back to normal. You should take it easy. You still have another month of recovery before you can return to active duty. I can't take it easy. I heard the news about Stabcon. I'm sorry, mate. That was my fault. No, it wasn't. Ocelot's the one who pulled the trigger, and I'm gonna help you track him down. <laughs> like hell you are. You're in no condition to do anything. I'm much better now. Trust me, I'm ready to come back. No, you're not. I'll be fine. I won't slow you guys down. You can't expect me to sit on my ass while Stabcon's killer roams free. I expect you to head back to the medical bay and rest. I'm telling you, I can't. This is not a discussion, Blugger. I've already lost one man and I'm not prepared to lose anyone else. Get back to the medical bay, now. I can't believe he's gone. Never can I. We shouldn't have left him there. He deserved a proper burial. But we had no choice. Going back for his body would have slowed us down. I know, it's just... It's just hard to deal with. I want to know what he died for. I need to know. He's been down there a long time. Central Command is probably pissed that he lost the data. He didn't lose it, he was robbed of it. Ocelot fooled him, that bastard fooled all of us. I know. It makes you wonder what else he's guilty of. Look. Is that him? No, it's registered to outpost 365? Dan? Holy shit, it is him! Friend of yours? Yeah. Ben! Dan! And Greg! Hey man! It's good to see you guys. What are you doing here? I was assigned to your unit, but I got ambushed on the way here. Ambushed? Son of a... It was Ocelot, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah. How did you know that? <sighs> he told us he was your replacement, and I believed him. Without doing any checks, I bloody believed him! Stupid! 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 Are you okay? Yeah. He just knocked me out. Took my warthog though. If it wasn't for Greg, I would have gotten here much later. So, what's this guy's problem? Who is he? We don't know who he is, but it looks like he wanted to get close to our unit leader. 
so he could steal some classified data from him. He killed one of our men in the process. Seriously? Shit. I'm sorry, man. Thanks. But it's not your fault. No, it's mine! Don't say that, Moobit. It's true! If I'd have checked Tesla's story of Outpost 365, we would have known the truth about him. Don't feel bad, man. He fooled me, too. And me. Boss! Ocelot talked me into giving him the data. The blame lies with me. Retro, what did UNSC Central Command say? I informed them of what's happened. My capture, the data, stabs, everything. And? They're not happy. They want us to find Ocelot and get the data back. The second fleet is on its way back to us, but it's three days away, which means it's up to us to find Ocelot. Who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing he's not from Oni. They briefed me about him. He was stationed at Outpost 841, but he was declared emotionally unfit for duty. He went AWOL from his base four days ago. His unit went looking for him, but they haven't been heard from since. He told me his unit had been killed. Yeah, I wonder by who. Retro, level with me. Why did you really go away on assignment? It was a safeguard of data, wasn't it? Yes. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, but it was strictly need to know. This data is of a critical nature. That's why the elites didn't kill me. They wanted to know what we were hiding. So, the Covenant know what the data is? No. If they truly believed what it was, they would have sent a whole fleet to come and get it. Okay, that's it. This is killing me now. What the hell is this data, and why is it so important? Alright. It's a formula for changing the fundamental elements of a thermonuclear warhead to break down a star on a quantum level, triggering an aggressive expansion. Holy shit. Are you serious? You understood that? Yeah, mind translating that? He's talking about a missile that can make a star go nova. Nova? Is that even possible? It is now. My god, that would be devastating. All the inner planets of a star system would be consumed in the star's expansion. Any outer planets that survived would be bombarded by ultra-hard radiation. It would be the ultimate doomsday weapon. So you're telling me that we could take out an entire star system in Covenant territory just by firing one missile? That's exactly what I'm saying. They're calling it a quantum buster? A quantum buster. It's a last resort against the Covenant, in case things ever get so bad we got no other choice. So we'd be willing to commit genocide against the races of the Covenant? I don't like it any more than you do. The formula was created by a man called Dr. Siddick, but he was killed during a Covenant attack on his convoy. The only copy of his formula was sent here to stop it from falling into the wrong hands. You mean like mine? What the what? fuck? Ocelot! Your conversation makes for interesting listening. He's been bugging us! Son of a bitch! How did you manage that? Does it really matter, Retro? Would knowing the exact moment I planted a listening device change our situation? No. I suppose not. You asshole! You tried to kill me! I remember you. Your warthog was very convenient. Another sign from the universe that my mission is a worthy one. I discovered you by accident, you prick. I stopped to help you, and you left me for dead. But you didn't die, did you? The universe decided to spare your life, just as it decided our paths would cross exactly when I needed some transport. That is not coincidence, my friends. That is the universe manoeuvring us like chess pieces. What the hell are you talking about? The universe is in chaos, my friends. This war with the Covenant is tearing the galaxy apart. I intend to restore order. It is my duty. Your duty? Yes. To the universe? Yes. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm convinced. You lied to us, Ocelot! You used us! It was necessary, I'm afraid. 
I could not have safely extracted the data from Fringe Base by myself. You sneaky bastard. That data is extremely sensitive. What are you planning to do with it? I'm going to restore peace to the universe. It needs my help to end the chaos. It asked for my help. I will not disappoint it. Oh god, you've totally gone off the rails, haven't you? My unit expressed a similar concern. It was not a concern I was tolerant of. What about the data? How sad, Retro. How sad it is that you're so fixated on one insignificant detail. The data itself is not important. It is merely a means to an end. What end is that? The launch of a quantum buster into our local star. What? You're going to make our own star go Nova? How crazy are you? How much time have you got? It will force all Covenant troops to withdraw from the system immediately. It will be a magnificent show of force. It will wipe out this entire planet. There are two billion people living here. Humans, Ocelot. Your own people. I know. It's even more perfect than using a quantum buster on a Covenant star system. How is it more perfect to kill two billion humans? Their deaths will show the Covenant how resolute I am. How determined I am to achieve my goal. They can't threaten me with the destruction of a human world if I am willing to destroy it myself. Both the Covenant and the UNSC will have no choice but to listen to my demands. And what are your demands? Peace, Retro. Both sides will sign an immediate ceasefire. After that, a peace treaty will follow. That's your plan? You're going to threaten humanity and the Covenant into being nice to each other? That's precisely what I'm going to do. It won't work, Ocelot. You can't achieve a lasting peace by forcing it with weapons. Firing a quantum buster won't end the war, it will escalate it. It will result in peace. When both sides see that I'm willing to destroy an entire star system, they will have to listen to my demands. And what if they don't listen? What if they send an entire fleet after you? That won't be a problem. I can take out an entire fleet with one shot. All thanks to you, Retro. Right, we're getting nowhere. Everyone fan out. Look for Ocelot's listening device and smash it to fucking pieces. No, don't do that. Why not? Because Ocelot is going to tell us where he is. Um, come again? <laughs> Very good, Retro. Despite the ignorance of your men, I think you might actually understand me. I understand that you think of the universe as fate. You think it's moving us around like pawns, that we're deliberately crossing each other's paths. I don't think it. I know it. And that's why you should tell us where you plan to launch the Quantum Buster. To see if we can stop you. You won't be able to stop me. Not with the universe on my side. If that's true, then telling us won't change anything, will it? If the universe truly wants you to succeed, it will find a way to stop us. Boss, you don't really believe all this destiny crap, do you? No, but he does. <laughs> I like you, Retro. The feeling is definitely not mutual. Very well. Let's see how this ends. I'm preparing to launch the Quantum Buster from Yakushima Waypoint. Try and stop me. If you can. Everyone, move out. Grab your weapon of choice and get to a vehicle. We don't have much time, so travel light. I want to be out of here in 60 seconds. Move like you've got a purpose. Retro, over here. What is it? I think I found his listening device. 